going to show is blocking draw, meaning to block at a strike that's coming down at you and to parry, to parry the, the, the sword that's, that's coming at you. In order to do this, you're going to be on the side of the handle. So you're going to be on the, on the side of the handle. And you're coming down here. On the my giddy, on the my giddy, when I went like this, my wrist would go straight. So when you're doing a blocking draw, and you want to get on the side of the handle, you want to go down and left. And again, your wrist will be just about straight, just about flat. And you're going to draw down about halfway, and then you're going to rotate it as you block up. What you're doing when you are coming down on the handle, on the side of the handle, you're on the side of the handle like this. Okay. Coming down like this. Coming on to the side of the knuckle here, and the side of your thumb knuckle here. So you're making a U like that. The web of your hand is, is not going to be hard against the handle. It's going to be open. You should be able to see light through there. Right there. You can see a little bit of light through there. I'm not gripping tight, but that's where you want to have a little bit of gap here. And what that does is, when you have blocked here, you're actually going to rock your thumb down. You rock your thumb down like that, and see how that lets the blade turn? And then when your left hand comes onto it, you're going to catch with your pinky and tighten that. And really, the placement of your pinky on the end of the handle, the suka, is what sets the straightness of the blade. And then whatever this uh, right hand hasn't lined up, it can realign. And your grip with the sword is 40%, 30%, 20%, 10%, almost nothing with the pointer finger. So you can be in like this, or you can be um, pretty open with it. Both is fine, but it's, it's the grip down here that is really the, the pinkies are setting the straightness and the, it's like you're gripping a little bird. Hold with the feet of the little bird, it's like a canary, and then a little bit less on the body, a little bit less on the body, and nothing up here on the head. But if you go the other way with a full grip, dead birdie, no good. 40%, 30%, 20%, 10%. Again, you're going to roll into the center of your body with the thumb knuckle just below the handle, right next to the suba, the guard. And roll down into the left, and you're pivoting around your, your thumb knuckle as that rolls down, and your hand comes on to the side of the handle down here and then you're going to half draw down and then walking up so that the blade is rotating back towards you. The mune, the back of the sword, is out to block the sword that's coming down at A number of people told me, including Nishio Sensei, as this came up, if they were drawing straight up, and, and turning back, they'd cut their cheek. So they learned to roll it outward so that by the time they got it out and up and turned back, it was past their face and they wouldn't get cut. When you're doing this, you're pushing with your, you're pushing with your thumb knuckle and you're pulling back with your pinky. So you're pushing forward with your thumb knuckle and pushing, pulling back with your pinky. And that pushes that back. When you finish the parry and you're getting ready to cut, then you rock your thumb down and let that rotate some. As your left hand comes on up above your head, it wraps on 
the right hand lines up and you come down for your cut. In the Aikitoho, this is Uke Nagashi, which means to parry. This is rolling in, coming down to the left, dropping down and blocking up. Let me show you the full Aikitoho. And you're actually starting from tension. So here, blocking up and crawl to the side as you block. And then you're rolling, reaching up, catch it, and then step. And Casey getting from high left to low right, stopping in front of you, right here. And you're coming back and down into the center line, and then up to Segan Chudan. I use Chudan more consistently because it's, it's easier to find a translation for it. And then roll over and Chibuti. When your left hand comes off of the boken, it clears. Your left hand leaves the boken at the same time as your right hand starts to go across in your chibuti. And you come back to the belt, and you come into the intersection of the belt and the side. So here. And in, in competition, uh, the idol competition, they're looking to see if your thumb is up. So your thumb should be down and close next to it. As you come out to here, again, I showed you before that, that you wanted your thumb alongside like that. You can see the tip of my thumb is sticking out. So as that comes on, you push down, and that pushed around the side, and roll back horizontal, and then come across about four inches from the suba. Well, outward, upper, line up, and your arm's going to be parallel with the floor, straight ahead from your shoulder, and you're coming straight down that line, and you're rolling up slowly, rolling up slowly, rolling up slowly, vertical last four inches. And you're stepping up, your right hand coming out to the end of the suka, C, right hand coming back to the suba, the guard, and they both come back to the sides together, and then down the sides together. And then control the suba as you move around.